This next story quite literally makes me sick to my stomach. An Indiana mother is being accused of injecting fecal matter into her 15-year-old son's IV bag multiple times while he was undergoing cancer treatment. Now, she claimed her actions were meant to get her son moved into another unit where she believed the treatment was better. She has since been charged with six counts of aggravated battery, one count of neglect of a dependent, resulting in serious bodily injury. Uh, the reason that this matters medically is that the doctors state that, you know, he went into sepsis, septic shock, and the doctor's greatest Almost concern... Almost killed her. Killed him, I mean. Him, and, and the greatest concern is, you know, when you're treating a cancer patient for septic shock, you're missing windows for treatment of the cancer. A lot of really just unfortunate things surrounding this. But have you seen many cases like this? I I've seen in cases... Your, in your... In my practice. practice, where parents do things that intentionally harm their kids. In this case, this mother says her good intention That's was to story. get better medical care. But uh, you know, parents, look, we don't get a manual, and we don't get a lot of training on how to be parents. But a good old common sense says you don't go into a hospital, you don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer or anyone, to know you don't inject anything into the IV of your kid who has cancer. So I, I am in favor of the charges that have been filed against her, and she has other kids. And I suspect that those kids have been taken from her care as well. Yes. I don't know that we know her intent, because there are these cases of Munchausen by proxy where, again, people do unimaginable things, and it's not because they don't love the other individual. They're literally dealing with a mental disorder and mental illness on where there part. is not yeah. the the true intent is not what ends up happening and what's crazy is there is a chance that she truly in her mind believed she was that this was good. going to help him and that's what's to me the scariest thing of all there is no way to prevent this if a parent wants to do this they're going to be able to succeed until again the doctors in this scenario they're trying to figure out why on. is he so sick it took multiple it took a long time and then finally a few healthcare providers are thinking well wait is someone injecting something into the IV line but this isn't one of those it happens once and immediately the healthcare team says oh we know we know what's going on she's injecting yeah, feces in the IV that's a long shot making that diagnosis yeah, sure. and make yeah. no mistake cancer can kill you but so can septic shock. And oh. this could have very well have taken his life within days. And so obviously we hope for the best outcome for the son in this scenario. Uh, a truly sad story indeed.